Hey guys, get ready with us for a party. Okay, so if you guys don't mind the music, it actually does get good. But, um, <laughs> she's a hot little lamb around, pick up drugs, daddy sweet man. I'm saying party music. South Carolina. Sophie doesn't like this song very much, but no, anyway. I mean, it's just not party music. I said she doesn't like party music. She doesn't like Johnny Crockett. Oh my days! <laughs> what is this? Anyways, we're going to party. She's doing her lashes, and then um, oh, is it? Yeah, and then I'm just gonna do it. We're supposed to be leaving in 20 minutes, but I think we're gonna be late. But it's fine. Anyways, I was gonna wear like this orange dress here, but um, I changed and now we're matching. She's wearing like a black bra skirt, and we're both wearing this top. I don't know if it actually goes, but I'm wearing it, so it doesn't really matter. Excuse me, you look like you love me. You look like I don't mind. Um, basically, what I was saying, yeah, is if the party starts at seven and it's currently six twenty-three. And we we're gonna leave at 6.40, but I don't think that's gonna that's gonna happen. Also guys, my tan's gone like really bad. Like look, it covers it, but like, what is that tan? Ah! Excuse that, <laughs> and then look, um I had like a wristband on and I don't know why yeah, but like this fake tan like gives me tan lines like when I like wear something tight. I don't really know. Um and then my legs have gone all like scaly, like it's really weird. Hey guys, I've actually been feeling really ill this like whole day like i actually thought i was gonna throw up but um i'm feeling a bit better now um i actually wasn't gonna go to the party maria maria but um now sophie's here i feel better but i genuinely felt so ill this morning i was actually bawling my eyes out because i actually thought i was gonna be sick but i hashtag wasn't and now i'm going to the party but um yeah she looking better than ever she feeling she liking the bread, she liking the chair. What's from? The top? She. It doesn't say anything, it literally. Say. This girl, she's not getting in the party mood. Because I just got freaking one door over me, man. Guys, she's in a mood because she got bonded on her. Guys, I'm starting to feel more ill, I'm not even gonna lie. But, um, brows are not eating. They're just looking pretty bad, not even gonna lie. Also, we're supposed to be leaving in 10 minutes, so. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going in with um, the Elf Halo Glow. Okay, guys, now I'm going in with this BB cream. Hey guys, I finished with my lashes. Hey guys, I did my concealer, but I just had to go get some fresh air. But um, I'm actually scared for this party, but it'll be fine. Oh my god, that looks horrendous. What have I just done? Hey guys, um, I just did my cream contour and now I'm doing my cream blush. Guys, honestly, this was the best song live. It was so good. I actually love this song. I just went in with like all my powdered products like powder, powdered bronzer, powdered blush and powder and powdered highlighter. Um so yeah. Now I'm gonna go in with this like uh blush highlight thing. Just put it on my cheekbone. Okay, and I've already done my mascara because like I did it earlier today. Alright guys, I'm just setting my face with the Milani setting spray. Um now I'm just gonna go in my lip combo, it's just taking me ages to find it on better breath okay guys that's the makeup done now i'm just gonna put on all my jewelry okay um yeah i need to put my jewelry on but now i'm just gonna wait for sophie because she's just been starting her makeup yet and the party starts in five minutes anyways thanks for watching bye hey guys get ready me for my last night at ibiza if you haven't noticed already i literally ripped out all my eyelashes because I'm getting a lash lift on Monday and I need to get them out before then and they were just annoying me like there's still like three or four left but this is proof that holiday glow is a thing because is it just me and do I look better without lashes on holiday than I do when I'm without lashes at home 
literally doesn't make any sense. My hair now is still looking so pretty. I love it. She said it should last like seven to ten days, I think. Also, guys, um, my giveaway will be announced like how you can enter it and what you'll be winning. Uh, it will be announced on Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned. Because little hint, there's something in there that begins with glow and ends with recipe. I can't believe tonight is our last night because tomorrow night we'll be on an aeroplane. So I'm going full out with makeup tonight. I am in desperate need of a new beauty blender. Oh my gosh. My, both of my beauty blenders are so dirty. And like even when I wash them, they still like make my makeup literally separate. Like I seriously don't know what is wrong with them. Also guys, I know this concealer is way too light. It's because I don't have a holiday summer shade. I had to just run back in the room and grab my Charlotte Tilbury contour because I didn't bring it out with me. But I'm just going to use this just so that my face doesn't look extremely pale. I literally brought so much makeup with me on holiday that I didn't even use. But my logic was I don't know if I'll need it so I'll bring it anyway just in case. Because if I do need it and I don't have it, then we're in a dilemma. Today the UV has literally been max five or six i think which is just so sad because it's like my last few days and it's literally uk uv it's supposed to be seven or eight tomorrow though so that's good i'm literally so sad that it's my last day uh, last day last like evening our flight isn't till like late tomorrow night so we'll have most of the day around by the pool and stuff also guys most of you guessed but yes i am gonna be seeing Tallulah next sunday i'm so excited to see her again because i haven't seen her in so long oh my god what is that on my face also guys evie is coming to see Tallulah as well which she's so excited about and then she just came up to the window to tell me <laughs> to tell you guys she's so excited because she watches Tallulah's videos and just can't wait to meet her this blush literally never disappoints honestly it just looks so good and blends out so well every single time i adore it time for a powder my favorite set because i feel like it always just brings my makeup together i'm also going out shopping to blue water um next month on monday not next monday on monday um with my friends because i need back to school stuff i'm literally starving i had like this tuna salad for my lunch it was so 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 yummy literally the only healthy thing i've eaten this whole world i don't know about everyone else but i'm actually kind of prepared for like school i can't lie like as much as i don't want to go i like i kind of miss being in like a routine of like getting up going to school like do you know what i mean getting ready every morning like i don't know i just feel like the routine of it and the plan and the structure of a school day like really helps my mental health and my brain so as much as i hate school i love the routine i am in need of a new highlight because look at mine where where is it i'm so sad because tonight is going to be the final instagram pictures of the holiday like what the hell i feel so different without um lashes um hold on let me do this this is awkward um it feels so odd without lashes because i don't know i feel so different but i've got mascara and an eyelash curler so i will be using that this lip liner and lip gloss is my favorite favorite combo ever it's the glossier lip gloss with the charlotte tilbury lip liner in the shade pillow talk medium so for the first time this holiday i'm gonna go do my eyelashes in the mirror inside and then i'll be ready okay guys i've done my mascara which i haven't done in so freaking long and i've still got like <laughs> two or three lashes i thought that was mascara then but it was henna um but i haven't done mascara in so long and i feel like i look so different anyway i'm gonna do setting spray oh, so lush anyway that's my makeup done guys i feel so different without lashes love y'all Look at this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Isn't it great? Chris. I know, it's my dream. <laughs> I have goosebumps everywhere. <laughs> this is out of this world. What a I've literally tanned so well today. It's currently quarter past two and I got out of the pool about 45 minutes ago. But I've been in the pool literally since the minute I, I didn't even digest my breakfast, I was already in the pool. I've got this really gross spot on my nose, but anyway. So I've just been in the pool since about 10 o'clock and I have gone so dark. And I wore this black bikini too that Scarlett gave me because she said I'll tan better in black and she was not joking. Scarlett was not joking. These tan lines, 
inside. I've just gotten out of the shower, like you can't tell from the towel on my head, and we're having quite a nice evening today. So we're going to go on this little boat top. If any of you have seen these multi TikToks, it's like these wooden boats. And then you go see the three cities, which I'm really excited about. Because like I said yesterday, about 50 times, I love exploring. So I tried out this primer for the first time yesterday and I really like it. Once we're done exploring the little three cities thing, I didn't understand it too much. My mum briefly explained it to me, but I don't really have a massive understanding yeah. Then once we've done that, we're visiting this Man U thing for Noah because Noah literally loved Man U with his whole heart. And the whole family is forced to support Man U because my uncle is a diehard Man U fan, so literally no one has a choice. And then after all that, we're going to go out somewhere really nice for dinner. So I'm really excited. It's going to be a really nice evening. My face is actually tanned a lot too. And I'm really shocked that I've gone this dark in just one day. Also, for breakfast, I had these waffles, which were absolutely banging. Normally, I don't like waffles, but they were fresh. They were so good. I normally don't like waffles, but they were so yummy. I've met so many of you though, which is so nice because you're all so lovely. And I met these three girls in the pool and they were all stunning and they were all really nice. And I was just chatting to them and that was really lovely. Also guys, I need to make some holiday friends. So if you're in my resort and you want a friend, I just need to start socialising with people. So if you want to be my holiday friend, we can be friends. And also, I've almost finished my book, so I started reading Girl Interrupted, and I don't, not, yeah, Girl Interrupted, and I don't know why it's taking me so long to read it, because it's like less than 200 pages, and normally I could finish that within less than a week, but it's taking me so long, and I'm almost finished, and it's the best book I've ever read. Like, irrefutably, this has to be one of the best books I've ever read, and it's an autobiography too, and I just love it. We went to bed so early last night, though, like, everyone went to bed at, like, I think it was, like, 10, and I was like, why are you all asleep? I don't even go to bed at 10 on school nights and everyone was asleep and I didn't like it because I was just up on my own, scared, and it was dark and I don't like the dark. Can confirm I don't have a jawline whatsoever. Is this a jawline? Yeah, this is a jawline. I don't have one whatsoever, so we are faking one. And I did only wash my hair yesterday, but I tried not to wet my hair and I just couldn't resist it because on holiday, I can't not jump into the pool. Like I was trying really hard to just swim and not dunk my head on under and do roly polies and pretend I'm a mermaid but I couldn't fight the earth. So in the end I did do about five cannonballs and 20 handstands and I was snorkelling in the pool and people probably thought what is this girl doing in the pool because my cousin, my cousin, not even this girl, what are these girls and boys doing in the pool? We was just like got our goggles on with our snorkelling things and we were just snorkelling around the pool. Because why not? This is literally the best blush for holiday. This is the Say blush in the shade Rosie. I'm going to start and actually do my highlighter and then I still need to curl my hair. I need to leave in 10 minutes, but obviously that's not going to happen. Okay, my makeup's all done. I just need to set it. And I think I've had a really good makeup day too. Slay. Get ready with me for the Gold Coast show. I am so excited for the Gold Coast show. Like, it's the best time of the year. Like, it's starting to get warm. And just everything about it is just so much fun. Today has been such a chill day for me because I've just been laying out in the sun. Okay, I just finished putting my sunscreen on and I know I'm going at night time. But this is still a really good primer to use. Because it's like a sunscreen and a primer. So I use it all the time. But I got two new products from Sephora. So I really want to try them out. I got the Blurring Skin Tint from Fenty Beauty. I kind of just guessed my shade, so hopefully it's the exact same. And then I got the Rare Beauty, like, Small Encourage. Okay, so I got this skin tint for, like, my acne scarring. So let's see if it actually covers. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm just putting it on, like, bronzing drops. Honestly, I don't think it's done that much. Especially using quite a lot, like... I don't know, I feel like this is quite a lot. Okay, so I definitely wouldn't use this every day, but it does feel like a moisturizer. You can still see my acne scars, but it kind of just smooths my face out. Anyways, I'm definitely going to put some bronzer on every single time I use this because it makes me a little bit pale. But okay, I always spray my face when I do my bronzer. I also really want the flawless filter just for like my cheeks and like my nose. I just love the highlighter look, especially in the summer. This is literally the big one of the Rare Beauty, which is 50 and this is 25. I should have just gotten the $50 one. So glad that I got this color again because I always used Alana's like literally ages ago. And I've been using the MK Beauty one because it's like the similar shade. 
I love this stuff. It makes me look so glowy in like my cheekbones. And just here. I never use it anymore, but it's so pretty. Okay, eyelash tutorial because someone asked ages ago, so here it is. First, grab a really good eyelash curler. This one's from Mecca. It's the Shiseido, Shiseido, Shiseido eyelash curler. Okay, eyelashes are curled. Now, I'm going to grab the Lash Lady Pia Shelly Mascara. This has gross serum in it, so I like to put it at the very bottoms of my lashes. And then, for like the tips of my lashes, they're kind of like going down, but I just curl them afterwards. It's fine. So, now I'm going to put the telescopic mascara just on my ends. This one's from Sephora. Even though there's product in it, it's literally empty. This one is so hydrating. I always use it before bed. It's the MK Beauty Lip Mask. Okay, now I'm all ready for the Gokka show. I'm so excited. Bye. Mwah. Hey guys, get ready me. So I'm starting off with my moisturiser. And if you're wondering why I'm at my lodge anymore, I'll give you a quick story time. Basically guys, long story short, not going to lie to you, I got a bit bored, okay? So I've come back, well, not really home. Basically, my family's still in Mablethorpe, all of them. So I've come to stay with Violet until my family get back. My family get back in four days. So I'm staying with Violet for four days, which is kind of cute. Um, But yeah, I'm just getting ready. I'm going in with a bit of floor. Am I doing? Mm. Do I put? Yeah, why not? I'm just going to put some of this on. Why not? I'm really indecisive. Also, guys, please drop me some tips, okay, for my horrible little under eye patches because it's making me very insecure. Please, they're really light under my eyes, so please drop me some tips on how I can get rid of it. ASAP. I'm going in with some of my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer just on my cheeks. Guys, I'm doing my blush now. It's a Charlotte Tilbury one, but it's absolutely blown up everywhere. That's cute. So we're just going to do that side one by one because it dries mega quick. Guys, also, this is my all-time favourite song at the minute. Oh, my God, where's my blush brush? Huh? One sec, guys. Okay, now, oh, my brush, brush, blah, 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 blah. My blush brush was rolling away, but now I'm going to do my Dior concealer. Here, 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 here. here. Here, 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 Oh my god. I don't know the lyrics, sorry guys. Highness. Right, I'm doing my highlighter. It's taking for weakness. I could have did what you did to me to you a few times, but if I did the slide, the slide. I just want to sing to you guys, can't lie. But anyway, what's your difference when I put mascara on? Ready? Transition. What, what am I supposed to put in the middle of it? No, like lipstick. I don't have lipstick. Look. I should probably buy some. Violet's done my lip liner. <laughs> but like, blend in the lip liner. Mm -mm. Not that. Oh, I need to cut my other garnish. I'm like, um, get some like tanning stuff or something. What shoes are you wearing? I'm already now. Finish. Oh, I need two sets of spray. Now I'm ready. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready with me. Right, so today I'm just going out with my mates. Um... But I've actually put a bow in my hair. It's so cute. I don't know why I haven't thought about doing that with my braids. Because I used I did it like May. In like May, I think. Yeah, like spring at school. My curly hair all the time. But I never did it with my braids, I don't think. But yeah, it looks cute. But I'm actually going to be taking my braids out on like Sunday, I think. So I'm going to make the most of my braids, guys. All my makeup is still in here because obviously I went 
um, the Milton Keynes of Yaz. I need to get my serum. This, the few jobs. But, um, yeah, my braids are just getting old and I actually, like, I'm actually excited to try and eat up my curly hairstyles again for school. Like, the slick back, the edges and everything. Also, I just can't wait to have my everything shower and wash my hair, like, that shower is going to be the longest shower I've ever had. I just, I don't know why, I've always felt like this, when my hair's wet, I feel clean, like, whenever I got out of the shower with my wet, curly hair, I felt clean. Then, so, like, coming out of the shower with my bonnet on, because obviously my braids can't get wet, then it's like, I don't know, I don't feel clean, so, yeah. Anyways, today my outfit is so cute, I'm wearing this um, frilled white top from Zara, and then my jeans from H&M that I got yesterday. Um, I'm also a little silver jewellery girl now, because... When I wear white, I just feel like silver matches more. I don't know, but I like both. I love gold, and I like silver at the same time. I'm going to have a break from using mascara on my lashes and just curling them, and then at night using the ordinary lash room. So I put it on last night, and yeah, I just want to make my lashes long and healthy and just not use mascara. Um, I'm going to use my GC lip oil, though. Hey, Nanya with they friend. I used this last night, and it's actually so good. I literally love that. Okay, now I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Halo Glow. Let me see your hands. Wait, I genuinely cannot believe this time next week I'll be sat in a classroom at school. That is crazy, that is. Anyways, I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty bronzer. Okay, I've done my bronzer. I don't know why I'm feeling like it's just not bronzering enough today. Maybe I just like bronzer too much, I need to chill on it. Um, I'm gonna use my Kosis concealer now though. Right, I'm gonna spray my quarterly facial spray on Beauty Blender. I actually love my vanity mirror. My makeup just always looks good in it. Um, I'm gonna use my W7 powder now. Oh, gosh. Right, yeah. Actually, I changed my mind. I don't think I want to do powder. I'm liking the glow. Then, actually, fine, I'll do it. I'm really indecisive. Sorry, guys. What you want to follow love? Base is looking smooth. I'm gonna use my BT crop setting spray. Let this sit a minute. Okay, I've let that sit a bit. I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. Okay, all I'm doing to my lashes is just gonna curl them. Okay, the length is giving already. Um, I'm hoping by like, actually I don't know how long lash gym takes to work. Let's say three weeks, my lashes better be like, actually maybe a month, I don't, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna use my highlighter from Benefit now. The usual. I actually love this highlighter, I'm so happy I bought it. Just on my nose. Okay, and then this is the finished makeup. Um, right, I'm gonna spray my vanilla perfume. This girl to me is a tad bit long. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm ready, so bye guys. I literally have no time to get ready. It's 7.30 right now. I leave at 8, so we need to hurry because I don't even have an outfit yet. I'm just about to do my makeup, but like, I need to actually do my skincare first. I literally forgot my toner. Um, what the heck? Actually, I'm just gonna slow down because whatever. If I'm late, I'm late. I don't even care. Anyways, guys, so how was your day? Yesterday, I actually did good in the algebra test. Well, the grade wasn't good, but compared to everyone else's scores, I actually did decent, so it's pretty good. I'm kind of impressed by myself, not gonna lie. I'm kind of shocked, too. I tried on so many outfits this morning, and none of them are, like, matching what I want to wear. They're not matching my vibe right now, and my hair is freaking booty right now. Like, it's not straightening, so I'm just gonna put it, like, in a braid or something. Last night was the first football game for varsity, and I couldn't even go. Because I dance and I'm planning on going to every game and I like, couldn't go to the first one But it's fine because I'll go to all the other ones because they're on Fridays. My grades are low-key kind of good right now I'm kind of impressed and today's like the last of like the, the first three weeks, obviously I'm rushing so bad that I forgot my elf halo glow That's never fun. It's like my favorite step <sighs> I turned on so many outfits and like all of them are like very fall outfits and like it's still hot outside. If it rains today, which I'm pretty sure it will because it rained yesterday, 
I'm gonna put my hair up. Actually, I'm probably just gonna put it up regardless if my hair is not good or not. Okay, the lashes are whatever. I'm putting on off Halo Glow over my concealer because like it's really bothered me that I'm not wearing it. Because this is literally my favorite makeup product like ever. Besides like mascara, but you know, get my point. I need to think of an outfit. I kind of want to wear like a hoodie because y'all, it's so cold and freaking math. Like algebra and a cold classroom never go good together. Never. And I remember last year, math was so freaking hot. And, like, it was actually, like, way better. I literally washed my hair last night so it would look good today. And, like, I'm just freaking putting in a ponytail. Kind of boring, but, like, it looks bad, so. I a little bit of color. I actually need to hurry. It's 7.40, and I still don't know what I'm going to wear. I have cheer today, and I don't even have my cheer clothes packed, so I'm going to hurry. Okay, brows. This is literally just going to disappear off my face in three hours, but I don't care. We're all getting our names on our cheer hoodies, so I need to bring that, too. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. There's nothing I love more than a themed party, and tonight we are going to a 70s themed party. And I'm not gonna lie, posting regular content feels really weird right now. And I honestly haven't gotten ready in a minute. I feel like I've kind of been hibernating here. And tonight the Dolphins have a 70s themed party. The roster just came out with the 53 who made the team, and this is kind of their like celebratory night um, before the season starts. Last year, I went to this party as Braxton's date, but it's funny because I guess we weren't actually dating at the time, and it's really crazy how much changes in a year, um, but I was so nervous going last year because like I was meeting um, everyone on the team and his friends, and I just was like, I'm so scared. But it was a lot of fun last year. The party's like really like no phones no photos or videos because they want everyone to just be able to like have fun and relax or like not relax <laughs> last year the theme was white it was like pretty simple and then this year the theme's 70s theme and i only found out like a few days ago and i randomly ordered a bunch of stuff i ordered accessories on amazon all right from what i just saw it looks like there's either like a big sheet of color on the eye or there's like dark eyeliner underneath and up top like big thick eyeliner. So I'm really excited for tonight because Braxton's able to go out and we're able to have a fun night together because he's been in camp for a month now, a little over a month. I'm gonna attempt like a felt tip eyeliner. I really never do this. feel like I'm gonna mess this up, but we're just gonna go for it. I don't know if I can commit to more than this wing. I'm scared. Going for it, Um, I might regret this. Oh gosh. So you know what I'm really scared of is sometimes I feel like at themed parties, people don't really go for the theme that hard. Like if no one else is like really going all out for this, like I'm gonna look like an idiot. Okay, wait, I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Should I do a little dark underneath? I always hate when I do this, but we're just gonna do a little anyways. There's no going back now, so we have to commit. Also, why does time feel like it's flying by? Like how was this a year ago? already that i was at this party like i don't know if that's i'm getting older or if everyone feels like this weirdly like this past year went so fast i feel like i blink and another month has gone by this is making me so excited for halloween like it, anyone new here halloween is my favorite holiday and i have so many ideas for this year i think this is the final makeup look i i'm not sure i also have a headband for my hair i don't really know we're gonna have to see what the outfit like is this 70s or i feel like this is giving more like 60s or 50s i honestly don't know i don't know if this is 70s but i'm liking it come back for the outfit video bye hey guys get ready for me to go out with my friends so my jeans that i've literally been waiting for i don't know if i've been talking about it on tiktok but i know i've been talking about it on my private snapchat story but i feel like i have spoken about it on here but they finally came they're like the low rise ones and mine are from h&m and i'm absolutely obsessed with i've got them in two colors i'll show you like what they look like when I probably do like a video after this video. And I'm also buzzing because my, well, a P. Louise package came today and I've been needing lip liners. Like I literally bought an e.l.f. lip liner the other day because I literally have none. So I, well, mine ran out. So I bought the e.l.f. one from Superdrug and then P. Louise have just come with so many lip liners. Like, look, it's heaven. I feel like, I feel like P. Louise knew I needed them. It's just like fate. <laughs> but yeah, today I'm going out to this matcha place. Apparently, like, it's new where I live. Um, and it's apparently, like, duped for, like, Blank Street. And I've never had a Blank Street before because, like, I don't usually go up to London. Like, I go up to London on a rare occasion because it's not really... I'm not that desperate to go to London. But yeah, I'm going to try it for the first time. And I'm not really, like, a kind of, like... I've never actually tried matcha before. And I don't really like milk or tea or coffee. So... I've never tried matcha before, so hopefully matcha 
turns my head around and makes me like it i don't know but um i'm really excited i'm going with my two friends so yeah okay i'm not doing a big makeup routine today i'm just gonna put on a tiny bit of concealer like a tiny bit and then blind that in actually guys i don't want to put on any makeup today so i'm just going to quickly like remove it it's not like i've done it all over my face it's not going to take my skin okay so i'm going to put on lip liner mascara and then brow gel i'm convinced i ripped out my whole eyelash like out on this side last night because i put lashes in and a whole massive clump i think over 10 lashes came out i was actually like depressed but then you can't even see it so it's fine i guess okay i'm also going to put on my summer fridays as like a lip gloss slash balm bye guys love you Mwah. Y'all get ready with me using all new makeup and skincare products. I get a bunch of makeup and skincare in PR and I love to try it out, so let's go. I'm starting off with the Naturium Skin Hydrator. I'm not sure if this is a serum or a moisturizer. Okay, I think that it's a serum because of the consistency. It has kind of a weird texture when I blend it in. It's okay. Next from Face Theory is I'm going to use their eye gel. I have not used a eye gel in like, I think, a couple months. But it always feels so good, but sometimes it burns. Does that happen to anybody else? For some reason... This smells like like a campfire, like smoke. I don't like how it smells, but it felt very good. Next, I'm going to try out this tier tier like powder foundation something. This was super viral a couple months ago, and I'm really happy to try it out now, but I think the shade is like extra light. Okay, so it has this thing, and you have to tear it off to get the product. That's so interesting. I feel like I've never seen something like that. Okay, now I'm going to grab the little sponge, and I'm going to press it on there. And then... Whoa! This is definitely full coverage, and this is also definitely not my shade, so... I literally did, like, one press in there, and I have not had to repress it in. Like, I don't know how this stuff is distributing so well. Do you guys see how pale I am? This is a great product, but I need to get another shade. This is embarrassing how horrible this is looking on me right now, so I'm gonna go in with my eyeglass concealer. This is a new one, and it is actually in a darker shade because I have been tanning, and I needed a darker shade. I mean, maybe not with this, but really hoping this helps okay now i'm gonna go in with the makeup by mario bronzer and light medium this better help me out like a lot i'm just gonna put like a bunch of it i love how blendable this product is i've used a lot of makeup by mario products and same with their blush it's just so blendable like now i'm gonna go in with a new shade of the rodeal blush you guys know i love the blush this is in like the peachy shade i have the two other colors and then i will have the full collection i really hope this adds some color to my face I really went wrong with that shade of the tear tear um foundation this is not looking great okay definitely a lot of light coverage i can definitely tell that i don't know i feel like this is a product that like goes over like just like your regular skin. so to kind of brighten it up i'm gonna go in with this new kosas blush and this one is in the shade hype it's like the brightest one that i could find look at how pretty though it's like marble so i'm just gonna like get some of that on there and try to kind of blend this out Okay, that added the perfect amount of pigment. I love these blushes. I have them in so many shades. I don't have anything new for eyebrows and eyelashes, so I'm going to do those really quick. Okay, now for lip, I'm going to go in with this Kosas Wet Stick, and it is in the shade Hot Beach. I have tried one of these before, but I have not tried this shade. They literally feel like lip balms, but they have pigment. That's what I like about them. Mm -mm -mm. Like, come on, that looks so, so good. It literally, like, melts onto your lips. Like, I think that's the sign. For setting spray, I'm going to go in with this Catrice one. I have never used this one before, so let's see how it feels. Ooh. Mm. It smells really good, and I like that, like, it's a good amount of, like, water that comes out of it when you spray it. Does that make any sense? I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm so happy I got to try out some new products and realize that I am much tanner than this. Bye, guys. Stop doing the teamwork.
is actually a rendition of something that we've been doing for a really long time called follow for follow mr beast has talked about this before and how it ruined his initial first youtube account when he first started youtube all he would do is just follow for follow every day all day and he got to like 7,000 subscribers when he would post a video he had absolutely no views he literally had to start a new channel from scratch and that's probably what you're gonna have to do if all of your followers are follow for follow because see the problem comes into play when people are following you for a follow back for something in return instead of just following you because they like your content they're gonna watch your stuff for probably like a week max and then they're never gonna look at your account again and the fun part is when the algorithm picks up on this it's like hey this account's dead and inactive so i'm gonna stop pushing the videos it literally just hurts my soul when i see people with like 50,000 followers coming up on my free page being like i'm an influencer now thanks to the teamwork trend like no your account is ruined and you're gonna have to start a new one if you want any chance of blowing up ever again i've been doing social media since i was seven years old i grew this account to 500k in five months and if you want the cold hard truth on how to do it stop doing follow for follows stop begging for followers stop being like make me famous i want to be an influencer i want to quit my job because think about you do you want to follow a bunch of people who all they do is beg for followers and it's like please follow me i'll follow you back no no one wants to watch that shit let's be real keep making your content keep making it consistently you don't have to post three times a day you don't have to spam you literally just have to make good content consistently and don't stop doesn't matter what time you post it doesn't matter where you post each time you make a video you will get better at it and that is the only way you're going to be an influencer i'm going to hold your hand when i tell you this all of those social media digital marketing strategy experts that come up on your for you page don't know what the hell they're talking about have an actual social media manager that gets me brand deals i will say this again do not give these people money because if they were doing their job and they were a successful social media manager they wouldn't be doing that needing you to pay for a subscription for them on how to be an influencer 101 do your own research it's really simple stick to the basics and keep posting don't stop i love you hobnockers i hope this helped and i'll see you in the next one ride with me in montauk i'm here for a night little getaway at montauk beach house probably one of my favorite hotels here i'm here with my boyfriend for a little getaway right before summer ends and of course i'm doing my makeup outside because look at the view that i have from our little balcony so nice and peaceful this hotel has everything they have the nicest pool ever so we spent the day there we also went over to the beach for a little bit now we're getting ready for dinner i'm so obsessed with the outfit i have for tonight but my tan line really shows through i'm just gonna have to embrace it i actually brought this outfit to wear in greece but i never ended up wearing it so I'm wearing it here but you guys after once i am done with my makeup i'm so sad this is probably me and sam's last time coming to montauk this summer and it's honestly been one of my favorite traditions that we've formed i'm pretty sure this is like our third year in a row coming here this particular hotel i've actually stayed in a handful of times for like different occasions one of my favorites i get so excited to come and stay here there's just so much to do and it's like in the perfect location near everything i definitely would recommend a montauk beach house if you're ever going to come to montauk I'm almost done with my makeup and then i just have to fix my hair and we're ready to go. Okay guys, here's the finished look. Here's my outfit. And here's the makeup. I think I'm just gonna wear my hair like tucked by my ears like that. I don't know, but here it is. Super cute. I can't tell if I love her or I hate her. Y'all, this little ginger girl situation is actually crazy. If you somehow don't know what I'm talking about, there's a girl who had a boyfriend and then they broke up and then another girl went on a date with him. And he goes and gets back with a blonde girl and she's on some podcast talking about him and is getting flamed and everyone's basically saying, oh, your boyfriend hates you because I guess of the way he was acting. I don't know. And then while that's happening, the ginger girl comes on and posts this insane three-part series on how amazing their date was while he's back together with the ex-girlfriend. Obviously at first I was like, wow, this ginger girl is crazy. Now everyone's all switched up and they're like defending the girl's relationship and attacking the ginger girl who posted all the videos. Which I mean, yeah, like fair enough. The crazy part is the way that the ginger girl is going about the whole situation. Like she posted a video and it started with like, oh my gosh, you guys are acting like I drop kicked someone's puppy. And the way she said it was unreal low-key like she ate with that and like at first i was like wow this ginger girl has got to be the most narcissistic person i have ever seen but at this point i genuinely just think it's a joke and she's just playing into it and like at the same time i don't know if she's being serious or not because now brianna chicken fry is involved in the situation hello because i think she was talking about it on a podcast and ginger girl got mad about it and said something in one of her videos and was like aren't you dating luke bryan <laughs> like shouldn't you be at a concert or something and then brianna responded by making a tiktok to one of luke bryan's songs and the caption was like go stream my boyfriend and i i thought it was really funny this little ginger girl might be insane but i can't tell if i love her or i hate her i don't know if anything it's providing me with my entertainment for the week because it literally just keeps on adding like Ooh. even kennedy yurik yurich i don't i don't know how you say her name even she got involved and she's like one of my favorite people she's so funny and like 
that that got me. Get ready with us for school. Y'all tell me why I literally stayed up until 12 a.m. last night. And I woke up at like 6.45 take a shower early this morning. I see school starts before me. It's getting ready to leave me right now. Some new lamps. The lighting still looks the same. It's not like the lighting is terrible, so I'm okay with it. And y'all, my hair low-key ate. Slicked it kind of good today. I don't know what I did different. Want to watch Tysis get ready with me? Hug her in the comments. Show them the hair. Period. Period. I'm so excited because we literally try and see if we made the cheer team or not. Bye, guys. I don't care. I never used these, so I used them after like 10 months. They're probably like expired, but it's okay. Moisturizer in here is literally survey. It's not even La La Retro. I'm so excited to see if I made the cheer team or not. We did all star cheer, so honestly, I feel like I definitely made the cheer team. I never did school cheer before, but I did all star cheer. All star cheer is way harder. I honestly think I made it, and I'm really excited. It's a name on her door, so I don't really know where her office is. I said, they know where it is and they're gonna screenshot it and it to the cheer group chat. I'm really excited to see if I made it. And I can't wait to like cheer at the games. If you're watching this girl, come to the games so I can see you. They dirty and I have time to do makeup and makeup doing mood. I'm trying to think should I go natural or do makeup? I don't wanna do makeup today. For the love and support on my last video, one of the people who I really got the trend from is Karis. Get it to everything that she put in her video. So I love you, Karis, if you're watching this. Y'all, if I use this wrong, not too much because I barely know how to use it. Girl, why'd you get it if you don't know how to use it? Y'all made it look easy. That's enough of say today. Because that's not a contour brush. Y'all, I don't know where my powder puff went. We're going to use a beauty blender. For All right, now we're going to do my eyebrows. I don't know why I always do my eyebrows last. I be forgetting to do them. Clear my lashes and now we're going in with this Benetton Go Bang Mascara. Because I can tell this is drying out. I don't know why it's drying out. It's not like I used it that much. Or maybe I did, honestly. What I'm going to use is this cookie hot letter. And do not mind my nail. Kind of said this way. I don't have a nail to, you know. Neither. Okay, y'all, we put it back into a bun. Do we like? Do we not like? Okay, because I like, so it doesn't matter if you like. All right, now we're going to use Scent Summer in this baby. Anywho, I love you guys so much. My lip combo, once I'm about to leave, it's only 8.43. Let's bet the gospel. Bye, y'all.